The Coop FIS Cross Country World Cup Tour swung back into life in the city of Fallon. This city in Dalarna County in Sweden, home to 37,000 people, a regular stop on the World Cup Tour. The conditions not ideal for the women's 10 kilometer. Niskanen, the 34-year-old with 261 World Cup starts, was in fine form today. She's known for her supreme climbing ability, and she needed that on this course in Fallon. After 9.1 kilometers, she had a big lead over 22 seconds, and there she saw it out to the finish line. 22.3 when she crossed the line, and she ended up 15.9 ahead of Katharina Hennig from Germany in second place. I felt much more stronger in beta still and <laughs> than now, but uh, I think maybe it's a 50k in Holmenkollen and then sprint in Drammen. So my winning was not really, really good before race, but uh, still it, uh, it was, it was a great day. Snow continued to fall as the men got ready for their 10 kilometer race. Johannes Hofstede Klebo, of course, the big favorite coming into this one, and he was in fine form again, but we were treated to a colossal battle. Ian Gett on the podium last week was pushing Klebo hard, but towards the line, Klebo's strength, his power shone through, and Ian Gett was left to fight for second place. He ended up 10.7 seconds back from Klebo. A 1-2-3 for Norway with Amundsen finishing in third. So Klebo on the podium yet again on the top step of the podium and Norway's dominance continues. Day two and a huge crowd was out in force in Fallen, Sweden. It was sprint day and the crowd were hoping for some local success. Skistad won last week in her hometown of Drammen. Could she carry the form to Fallon in Sweden? The women's final was a tight battle between Skistad and Sundling. Sundling had the early advantage, but Skistad, before the finish line, was able to come through and take the win just ahead of Sundling. Dahlqvist finished in third to make it two sweets on the podium here in Fallon. The overall standings to Utnigsweng still in the lead by over 100 points over Jesse Diggins, who didn't make the semi final. Skistad continues to show her form in the women's sprint on the Coupe Cross Country World Cup Tour. Lots of Swedish support in the crowd, but it was the Norwegians again showing their strength and power in this discipline. Klebo, with 63 World Cup wins before this one, was able to power through and show his class yet again. The Norwegians battling hard for the podium places, but in the end, Pellegrino got third, Valnes in second, and Johannes Kofsted Klebo a winner again on the World Cup Tour. 42nd podium in the career of Federico Pellegrino. But everyone looking up at Klebo. 309 points, his gap at the top of the overall World Cup standings. Ah, it was uh, it was a lot of fun, and especially in the final there, everyone stopped at the top, and no one really wanted to go first down. So it was a challenging one. But uh, like I said yesterday, I, this sprint in Fallen normally is really tactical, and I think we saw that today as well. Yet again, Johannes hofstedt Klebo takes his place on the top of the podium. Valdez in second, Pellegrino in third. Day three, more big crowds. This time, it was the mixed relay. As we got underway in some of the better weather that we've had here in Fallon in Sweden. Host Nation was looking to get on the top step. At the first exchange, Sweden had a slim advantage over Norway. Two Norwegian teams trying to take the race on at the front. 
Sweden stayed in touch. The team of Halverson, Ilar Anger and Sundling, one of the strongest teams we could see in the mixed relay. Climbs are tough in Fallon. With Norway leading before the third exchange. Italy took over after that third exchange. And then Sweden started to come back strongly with Sundling. On the climb, Sundling started to put the distance on the Norwegian teams. And she was looking to bring Sweden a victory on home snow. The moment where Sweden take the win after 45 minutes of racing. Just what the crowd wanted to see. Norway in second, Germany in third here in Fallon. And you know, you were the uh, uh, girl who could end this. How was uh, the last uh, leg? Uh, it was good. Uh, I had some power left in the end that I could use, could use because, you know, I was pretty tired before this. Uh, it's the third competition in a row, so I didn't know how my body uh, would feel today, but it was good. Sweden grab the win in the mixed relay, much to the delights of the crowds here in Fallon in Sweden. Well, the tour moves to Tallinn, Estonia for a men's and women's sprint on Tuesday the 21st as it builds to a conclusion for the 2023 season. Make sure you download the FIS app for more information on the Coupe Cross Country World Cup Tour.